Well, hey there, my family. This is your brother, Dane, and I'm coming to you from the city of Atlanta. I'm sure you heard, but this past week, there was yet another school shooting. And some of you may be thinking that I'm a bit insensitive when I say this. But I get really tired that one of the first comments that come out of the mouths of those community members surrounding the shooting is how shocked they are that such a evil or horrific tragedy would happen in their community. See what my white family members are literally saying. They are shocked that something so evil and horrific could happen in their beautiful white community. But see, the reason why you are shocked, my white family members, is because you don't know your true history, critical race theory. Because if you did, trust me, you would no longer be shocked at what you are seeing. Because, see, Jesus said in Matthew 26, verse 52, he said, put your sword or your gun back into its place because those who live by it will die by it. See, we took our sword and gun out of its place and we used it to pioneer or murder those who lived in this land to overtake it. But see, we didn't even stop their family. In fact, Revelations verse 13, 10 says that if any man takes a man into captivity, then into captivity that man must go. And if anybody lives by the sword, they must then die by the sword. So we use that sword, that gun, to then take captive our black brothers and sisters, ancestors, and brought them here to then build on the land that we killed the natives for. And now you are shocked. that that same gun is now coming against you. Well, you're going to be more shocked when you understand that our African-American family members here, our black brothers and sisters here, our colored brothers and sisters, all those various bywords that we name them, over all these 400 years while they've been in captivity are actually the true chosen people of the Most High God. Yes, they are our black brothers and sisters, are the true Hebrews, the true Israelites of the Bible, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. So, white evangelical Christian family Republican members, don't be shocked that it's time that the bill must be paid for the atrocities of our forefathers. And don't be shocked that it is now time that we who have lived by the sword now face the consequences of doing so.